This was an older design anyway. Yeah, they so wanted they to just wanted it to be gone. They wanted to get, get the, the information and, yep. and then move on. Yes! 2023 was the year of Starship and I was fortunate to watch it launch twice in person both times from the rooftop of Margaritaville. I'm making this video so that you can plan your upcoming trip to Starbase and maybe consider staying at the Margaritaville Resort, which I have really enjoyed spending time at. Now, Margaritaville is about six miles from the pad, so if you are able to book a room facing Starbase, you are going to get an epic view of the launch. And here's an idea of what that proximity looks like. So I love staying at Margaritaville specifically because it has a great view for the Starship launch. Even if you are in one of the guest rooms that has a balcony facing Starship, it's an unbelievable view. Unfortunately, they have changed their policy so that the roof is not available to everyone. They cannot accommodate all of the guests that would want to be on the roof, but you can still get an awesome view from your room. And you're also walking distance away from Isla Blanca Park, which is where most people watch it anyway. And this is my room here at Margaritaville, so it's a great place for me to gear up for the Starship launch. I really uh, enjoyed the bed. It was very comfortable. <laughs> and although I don't have a view of Starbase, I still have a pretty nice view so i really loved staying here and i definitely recommend margaritaville if you're looking for a great place to stay especially with the whole family this is the place and if you're a guest here at margaritaville here is a great example of a room where you can see the launch pad we are on the 10th floor so come join me out here on the balcony and this just gives you an idea of the view that you would have from your room. Now, of course, once the rocket goes up to a certain point, it will be hard to see it, but it's still a great view and something that you should request if you stay here to have a room facing Starbase. But here's a look at the hotel, which I actually stayed at for the first time during the second launch and really enjoyed several amenities, including the Tesla charging, which was super helpful. Another major convenience about staying at Margaritaville is that you can charge your Tesla. I didn't actually know that they offered this, but it has come in handy. So just leave it here for a few hours. I'm fully charged now, and this is definitely a very convenient feature to have because the nearest uh, fast charger is about 20 minutes away near the HEB in Brownsville. So this definitely eases my mind to have option to charge right here at Margaritaville. As well as the gym, which is one of the nicest hotel gyms I have ever seen. Okay, and if you guys want to get your workout in while you're at Margaritaville, the fitness center is actually located in the Sapphire but you can have a code and as long as you have your wristband on, you are able to work out here and I think it's pretty nice. During the first launch, Margaritaville sold out within an hour. Now I think there was a little bit more flexibility during the second launch, but it's the type of reservation that you wanna make far in advance. Of course, the Starship launch dates are always a moving target, but once you have a pretty good idea of when there might be a launch, you should really look into booking where you're gonna stay. Now, I've showcased several places for you guys to stay, including Rocket Ranch, if you want to get a communal feel and be as close to Starbase as possible. There's also the option of staying at the Star B&B chain in Port Isabel. And a lot of people are enjoying staying at Margaritaville. Now this is on South Padre Island. There are several hotels on South Padre Island, but Margaritaville is one of the newest recently renovated hotels that there is. They opened actually just maybe 20 days before the first Starship launch. So it was really good timing. And no, unfortunately, we cannot guarantee that the Musk family will be watching from the roof every time, but they were there for the first launch. Can you just hear your reaction to this? Yeah, I'm just really proud of the SpaceX team. We launched a, uh, well, I think it's about a 440 foot story uh, rocket, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is just mind boggling, 30 feet wide. To watch it go um, up, you know, uh, obviously we'll get all the test data, we'll get everything we need to, to make the next one more successful. But yeah, just an amazing success and 
can't be more excited for, for the for Earth. Right. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've been with the SpaceX journey from the beginning. Like, yeah. How proud are you of Elon and the uh, team? Elon is just uh, so proud of him and, uh, and, of course, the SpaceX team. And, you know, what, what happened today is exactly what we were, our goal was. It's a test. Let's get it up as far as we can. Let's learn as much as we can. And um, on the next one, we'll, we'll take it one step further. I feel like it went really well. It went really well. It was so exciting to watch that lift off. Was uh, one, of the, one of the greatest experiences of uh, my journey with SpaceX. Absolutely. So we just walked through the lobby, and you can see there is a convenient convenience store here in Margaritaville, a gift shop. There is a coffee shop right here. So this is a great place if you need your morning caffeine or just a little snack here at Margaritaville. So here at Margaritaville, this is the Land Shark Beach Bar. This is obviously a bar, but also a great place to have some lunch, have some dinner, and let's take a look at it. Of course, with the it's five o'clock somewhere theme, <laughs> this is the outside uh, pool area. You have some outside seating and let's check out the pool. Okay, so we are out here by the Salty Rim Bar. This is the pool area and it's a great place to relax and you can also walk all the way to the ocean uh, if you would like some sand on your feet and a feeling of not a care in the world. So really nice pool here at Margaritaville, but let's, uh, let's see if we can go see the beach. So they have these nice little foot washing stations here for you after you take your walk on the beach. And you have a little bit of a paved path here. So if you don't want to get super sandy, but this, not too far from here, is where Joe Tegmeyer and I found half of that heat tile from Starship. So this may be a good place also to go hunting for Starship Aftermath, if that's a thing. Now, one important thing to note, bring your bug spray because it doesn't matter what month of the year it is, I got totally bitten yesterday down at Starbase. So bring your bug spray, bring your sunscreen, but this is just a look at the beach and the access from Margaritaville. And of course, I'm very grateful to Margaritaville for letting Ellie and Space have access to the roof for just phenomenal live streams that you won't see anywhere else. There are some high powered cameras up here, but that's a very different type of live stream. So thank you to Margaritaville for letting me stream up here. And you guys can see just how incredible the view is. You're a little bit closer from Isla Blanca Park, but again, there's not a service there and you're surrounded by a lot of people. So this is a great spot and I'm glad that you guys are able to tune in and join me for the live streams from the roof of Margaritaville. Now, if you decide to stay here, there are also great views from your room if you get a room facing the rocket. So let me know if you guys plan to check out Margaritaville. I know that I really enjoy my time there and it is just a, a fun laid back resort. There is great beach access. It's great if you drive a Tesla and it is not too far away from Starbase with an even better view. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate everyone who supports my channel. Even something as simple as liking this video or leaving a comment helps the algorithm. As you know, I am a full-time content creator, so my career depends on your views. So if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I just know that 2024 is going to be crazy. This is not going to be the last time that I'm at Margaritaville. And hey, hopefully I'll see some of you there.